Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have some great aerial photos from Bio Reconstruct, um, this time at the Disneyland Resort, and <laughs> yesterday's or a couple days ago's video, and a Super Nintendo World update from photos from Bio Reconstruct, I'll leave that in the top right corner in the suggested videos box if you'd like to see that. But today it's all about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and it's more specifically, Adventures Campus. We only have a couple photos of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, not much happening. So just a dirt lot, but a lot of trucks and a lot of activity on site. Even there's five porta potties in that top left corner of my Mickey's house. So they're definitely working on it because, uh, you know, people obviously need to go to, to the restroom. So <laughs> that's what the workers are doing. There's a lot of trucks on site as well um, for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I expect this to hopefully get vertical next year but right now they're just working on foundation work and here's another angle from the other side and again just a lots of foundation work and um, they have dug um, dug uh, definitely a few feet down there you can see those the, the steel beams to the left those piles those are again more foundation work but they definitely have dug down and built themselves a mini ramp as you can see on the top left corner for trucks to go in now, so that definitely work is progressing on <laughs> Runaway Railway. Can't wait to see that in the next couple weeks. Coming up here now or to Avengers Campus. <laughs> Avengers Campus, there's lots of happening. So there's the Quinjet and its black tarp. There's the Avengers facade building. This is mostly <laughs> a facade for Phase 2, but there's rumors that there'll be a gift shop in that kind of the bulky section right under the um, Quinjet area. And you see Guardians of the Galaxy, we'll see a better look at that in a future photo. But it's getting a new paint shop on the side closest to Avengers Campus. Here's an aerial look at Avengers Campus, mostly Cars Land. As you can see, Mater, the Mater refurbishment is still going for Mater's, for Tow Mater's. And you see half of the side is ripped up and kind of paved that brown color. And half the side is, is there. They worked, I believe, on the, the previous side already. And I think they're just working on this left side um, and for Mater's and then it should be ready to go by the time the park opens very long refurbishment but of course all m most or all refurbs have stopped and um, so that's another refurb that has stopped moving on or not moving on actually we're going to continue looking at Mater's but you have the Spider-Man <laughs> attraction and uh, Ant-Man Microbrewery, you can see. Spider-Man has this logo, which we'll be seeing pretty soon. They're getting a closer look pretty soon. I still think Spider-Man should open first <laughs> before the rest of the land. And then that way, the whole thing won't be significantly delayed. But here's a close look at Spider-Man. You can see the Circus City Red is back. And the logo is pretty cool. It's going to light up at night. There's in the red, and you can see it kind of glows at night. And you can see there's some indents in there and it makes it kind of glow at night. It will look really awesome at night. The crane, of course, is finished. And the second crane over there looks like it's finished in the top right corner uh, by those the, the banners, those pillars with those banners are going in as you walk into the land. And honestly, that's probably the most complete Spider-Man, uh, the most, uh, that's basically what the Spider-Man facade is going to look like. Um, so I don't think much will be happening here. There's some minor details, like the windows. You see that one window to the right um, of the logo. It's still not done, but the warehouse look. But other than that, the majority of the building is just about done. And look at that awesome logo, the much closer look. That awesome Spider-Man logo. I'm not sure if it's finished, if they're going to add some more stuff. But it looks pretty awesome in my opinion. And I honestly can't wait to see the thing at nighttime. And the whole land at nighttime. I love... Um, <laughs> the parks at night. Moving on to the right side, you can see the Spider-Man Q area is getting a lot, it's still canopy, it's growing ever so slightly. It is definitely growing though and looks like those um, stuff is being painted gray and you can see some foundation work for what would be the Q line in between what is the bathroom area and the main show building for the attraction. You can also see some um, some more forms and some more walls happening in the middle of the land right below the bathroom the former tissue box bathroom here's an overview of the entire land 
right now. You can see the Doctor Strange area is coming into big focus um, here. There's, there's finally some definition in that part of the area, a part of the land. There's a like a wall being built of where the stage will be. And you can see the transition between Cars Land and the uh, Marv Land is definitely growing here as well. He has a much better look at the Ant-Man microbrewery. And you see they have some forms up in the wall up on the right side. And they're working on the wall on the left side, which I assume will eventually be definitely some outdoor seating in the renderings. There's some outdoor seating there. So that is being worked on the roof in the actual building itself, which is pretty big for a restaurant, a quick service search and microbrew. It's pretty decent size, and they'll have some pretty cool shops there. It's mostly mostly done. Here's another look at the Guardians of the Galaxy building. Um, and there's a couple interesting things I wanted to note here. One, the gray, the, the side of the building is being painted a gray to kind of match that kind of uh, gray Tomorrowlandish vibe of Avengers Campus happening right now. But also, the barcode, the barcode payment by the trolley tracks that you can see right in the front of the attraction is gone. It's not just kind of a plain concrete cement. I don't know if they changed their minds. <clears throat> Sorry, if they changed their minds or if they're going to repaint it a barcode thing or if that's part of the plans. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. But they they took it away for now, so I wonder if it will come back. And um, also on the Hyperion Theater, still on that refurbishment, still refurbishing the sky and the clouds, as you can see all the way to the left hand side. But yeah, I wonder if the barcode payment will come back because I think that is a main portion of the land. And some speaking of payment, there's payment being um, paved in front of the Spider-Man attraction, Web Sling attraction, and its associated gift gift shop to the left in the bottom left of this picture. Here's just a better look of the Q line with the Q canopy happening right there. And it's going to kind of snake in between. There's some, again, they have those walls, those definition walls that form definition of what this Q line kind of snake in, go in and out, in and out, and eventually into those doors that you can see under that purple, uh, purple canopy right there, purple entrance way of uh, the Spider-Man show building and the rest is looks like just backstage stuff so the land and the buildings of land are mostly done and i honestly don't think they have much left to do there's probably a lot of interior work going the paving stuff the turning all the dirt into pavement it's really easy that takes a maximum maybe two to three weeks to do if that so that should be really easy to do the buildings are the main portions of the attraction are the main portions of land and whatever the stuff occupying the interiors of the buildings are the most important the pavement obviously will be last and um <clears throat> will be really really easy to do so i say this should definitely open up in the fall the whole land and uh, definitely if not just the spider-man attraction potentially could open up in the summertime if they really want it to um but we'll have to see and that's again if the park opens up in the summertime as well but what do you guys think of this Disneyland, mainly Avengers Campus construction update? What do you, what are you excited for Avengers Campus? Will we be going to the parks? And when do you think Mickey's Mini Runaway Railway, Railway will open? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to, subscribe to the channel for more theme park updates. Lots of theme park news happening um, lately and more to come, especially as Disneyland Paris reopens today, as well as Epcot and Hollywood Studios. We'll be talking about that on the live stream. So subscribe for that, and as always, have a fantastic day.